Hi everyone. Marriott Espresso Press Design. Thank you for joining me today. September 25th, 2024. Today I thought I would, um, came down to prepare for tomorrow's Trash to Treasure. So I thought I would get these wax paper laminate wax paper napkin bags finished and wax paper laminate while I'm at it before I completely forget about it. So that's what we're going to do and uh, it turns out I'll upload it and I'll have another trash to treasure. Um, new papers, um, old paper journal collection. Various styles like this. Look at those lovely brass tacks. And this. Um, on Etsy and Shopify. Etsy is 15 pages. Shopify is 45 pages. And um, this is reworked from another collection that I wasn't very happy with, but I loved these images so much I didn't want to waste them. So I just reworked it into a new collection, and that's that's that. So, um, yeah, much better deal on Shopify. I wanted to put the entire 45 pages on Etsy, but... Etsy does not have the server space, and it was 120 megabytes for 45 pages. So I really don't like, I don't often put the same products on Etsy and Shopify unless it's something I really like or I think it will go well on Shopify, which is mostly vintage, then um, vintage, then um, that's that's how that works. <laughs> I don't don't generally like to do that, but sometimes with specific collections, I do. So the better collection and the better deal is on Shopify. That's forty-five pages for three dollars. Shopify collections are always uh, less money than on Etsy because it's my own site, I get more profit, and it's easier, I don't have to worry about file size, one PDF, one and done. So, okay, so you'll need some napkins. I have some assorted leaf designs, but since it's fall, I think I'll probably stick with these unless these don't have a nice back. I might want to apply this when I pull these apart. Um, I don't have it handy. I do have it handy, but I don't know where it is. Um, just had those out. My wax paper that I was keeping an eye on. <laughs> so much for that idea. Okay. Um, whoops. That wasn't good. Um, there it is right there. This is getting off to a good start. <laughs> so I did this one and then I used the second ply to back it. So that's what I mean by that. So these are all those that are other little ones I'm keeping an eye on <clears throat> for the time being. Till I make sure that glue stick is just as good as regular glue and whatnot. So I'm going to separate these and see what I can make with what. 
And usually, this is my method. Just take my nail and keep curling the edge or take my little plastic bone folder and keep curling the edge until it begins to separate. Which usually it doesn't take that long, but today of course it is. And I have lotion on my hands. Okay, I think we're almost there. Maybe. Here we go. I just keep curling that edge until it separates. This napkin has a pressed, embossed border on here, so it's probably making it a little tighter. I have a tear already, and this one is only on part of the design. So maybe I'll save that for the card. Well, trying to get a bag shape here. Yeah, I could probably do that. And it'll be different. Okay. So let's do one with that. I'm using regular old cut right. Okay. Reynolds cut right, but it's not necessary because I got my own yesterday at the Dollar Tree. I went to, where did I go? Dollar General. I was going to buy it there and then the price was outrageous. I said I'm not paying that much for wax paper. If I have to pay that much for wax paper, I'll probably go to Walmart or something. So it really, I'm going to use the purple glue. And I have a new one here. And for the wet for the napkin, I put the glue on the wax paper because I feel that depending on the glue stick, I might tear the napkin if I try to put it on. The napkin without a back. The napkin not on a back is a little too fragile. So I'm going to put this face down. Okay. And the corner rolled over there. Okay, just like so. I missed a spot, and the the napkin is so um, oh I don't know what the word would be, but it it's so um, 
then that I would not worry about this coming apart at all. And then I'm just going to take my roller, give it a little press. Should do it on the other side. Um, get a mix in here and hope I don't lift everything. I'm going to try not to roll on anything except my napkin so I don't stick the entire thing to the magazine. Okay. So that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to cut, when that's dry, I'm going to cut that out and assemble a little bag. Then. Give me another one here. Let me see. I can't remember what this one, the second ply, was like. If there's a design on it, I'll make a little card. Or am I? No, it's white too. So. To go back to my green because I know that has something on the second ply and I'll make a little card. This one's already torn apart. Where'd my new one go? Okay, let me get this apart. This one might have been three ply. Can't really remember. So I have a little extra time this week. It's too rainy. Too rainy to move furniture since the dogs are here. Don't have to drive over there every day anymore and feed them. Okay, there we go. This was a three ply. And I don't know if you're going to see that design because it's very faint. Get a white piece of paper here. See if you can see that faint design on there. So that's what I was using for the back. Okay. Let me just get a little card. I have these little calling cards. A whole box of them that I got at Goodwill. As usual, they're over there sitting on a shelf when they would make very cute little cards. Oh, here we go. Creamy glue. I'm going to have to see if just regular, not purple, Elmer's glue is any good. Because Scotch Create still hasn't, um, I don't know what, what they think would justify that price hike of theirs, but it was ridiculous. And that's my all-time favorite glue. Creamy, 
don't have to worry about it. it sticks to everything. Okay, I'm going to apply that. And the same thing, I'm going to apply the glue to my wax paper instead of my napkin because I don't want any lifting. Although I did see Print, print and Pixel Studio in their second video, I do believe they said they tried a napkin and they use Mod Podge. And they said their method was the same, so I'm guessing they used a brush and just went over it and didn't have any problems, but glue stick isn't really as gentle as a brush probably so just gonna be cautious and put my glue on my wax paper And apply that to the back. I did not put um, I did not put wax paper on the back of that, just on the front. Okay. I'm gonna use this to roll out. A napkin is one, you know, I didn't bother with the Sizzix when it came to napkin. Okay, I was just using that as a, okay, I'm going to let that dry till the purple disappears. Let's see if our bag is... Okay, good enough. So, probably going to go here and try to get as straight as edge as possible. Then I'll probably have to trim the top edge because it's not very straight. I trim the top edge on my guillotine, I mean. I see a little corner there. I'm going to fix that. Glue that back down. <clears throat> Let me just leave that as is until I get it assembled. And then, very simple, I just do my bags like the little flat shopping bags. Try to get my seam in the center. Okay, and then I'm using my book binding glue 
to glue the seam. Another thing, um, this is kind of like coin envelope assembly as well. Get my glue going here. Okay. Here we go. Then I like to fold it up about a half an inch because I use my um, tag punch to do the edges. Corners, I mean, angle those corners so they're both the same. Use the largest one like so. Just give that a little angle. Oops, I didn't want to cut cleanly, might not be dry. And then if it bothers you that you have, when you fold it, if you have a um, overlap there because your one side becomes a little longer. Just give that a little trim. So it's not longer. And then we'll glue that. This looks like a little treat bag because it's shorter and wider than the others. But that's a nice little bag. You can um, collect your leaves, your fall leaves, and keep your leaves in there if you want. And then afterward, I might run that through the press just to make sure that. The seam is nice and pressed. And there you go. There's your little bag. And then I would put that in there and trim the top. Now, if you wanted, you could put this on another piece of paper and cut it with your pinking shears or something if you want a nice edge. But I'm just going to play it safe here and hope I get a clean cut with my guillotine. And there we go. There's another little glass scene type bag. Okay, be nice for a fall journal. Okay, so where's my card? Let's see if that's dry. It's not quite, it's still purple. 
So I'm going to roll it again just to make sure everything is nice and adhered. And then give that a trim. Don't forget tomorrow, hopefully, or any disaster, we'll be doing another magazine rubbing. And of course, I did come up with another idea, but maybe I could squeeze both of them into one. Oh, that's very pretty. As soon as the purple disappears and even though I really don't need it I really don't need it for this paper because it's already nice so I think what I'll do is I'll do one on a book page And then I'll put I'll put the design um, I'll put the design on the back here to give that a little something. Although it would be nice. Yeah, I'll cover my upside down text with the napkin. And then I will put the, the uh, second ply on the back just to give that blank space a little, um, little something. Where are we? 28. Hopefully. Oh, yesterday, I thought, no, wait, what day was it? What's today? <laughs> I can't remember. Yesterday, yeah. I went to upload and YouTube told me it would take two hours and so many minutes and I thought I would have a heart attack. I was having major computer problems yesterday. So I'm just going to apply the napkin to the book page. And then I will put the glue on the wax paper. You know what? I probably don't even need this good glue for this. Let me switch to something. Oh, jeez, that's no good at all. I'm cleaning out my glue stash. Let's try this, see what happens. Yeah, you know how it is when you have kids. You keep buying glue, buy the uh, boatload, and then all of a sudden they quit using it, but then you don't want to throw it away. And I will say, some of those glues, I can't believe they're not all dried out. As long as it's been since my daughter used glue. So I might as well put that on there. <clears throat> I might as well put that on there while I have a glue glob on the other side. 
just do both sides. I'm just going to put the wax paper on the full strength side. Full color side, I should say. I will say adding another video gives me the opportunity to be, I just tore that. See, I had glue stuck on my finger and it tore the napkin. And that's just from rubbing. Okay, let's just get this on here because it just doesn't matter how it is. It's just a little pattern. Correct a corner later, I'll do it. Which I see one right there. <sighs> Be sure put the caps on that glue tightly, I will say. Ugh. Now under my fingernail. I'm going to be sticking. That's one thing I don't like about it. It's a little too gloopy. And boy, it ran out fast, too. I'll be up there every other week buying glue sticks. Let's say order them. Okay. Let's get this trimmed out. I don't work with napkins a lot. Can't find any pretty ones around here. And I don't feel like ordering them. I probably order I would probably order tissue paper before I would order napkins. Okay. No, I have a little corner there. And I'll probably throw all that away. I always have way more than I ever will use. Okay. Let's get the wax paper on there. Get a clean page. Oh. Big enough, you are okay. Well, I guess I'm going to stick with the purple because I want to make sure it sticks since I'm using book page. Something I've never done. with wax paper, that is. Got a wrinkle. It's okay. I kind of like that because the text is showing through. I don't know if it's going to stay after it dries, but Can't wait to show you my new purchase tomorrow. Something I've wanted for a long time. Okay. So there it is on magazine. 
and I would like to trim that in the guillotine. And I do have a little bubble, meaning that that glue was old and didn't stick very well. Probably be able to fix that with Mod Podge. It'll suck right through and then it'll stick. So there we go, there's that. I really hate the thought of putting that in my guillotine while it's so wet. So I'm just going to try to trim with my scissors. But you get the gist. I, I don't really trust Unless you're using more podge like print and pixel. <clears throat> I wouldn't trust a glue stick over a napkin to be gentle enough not to tear it to shreds. And what lifted? My napkin lifted. Not the wax paper though. <laughs> yeah, that glue that second glue stick wasn't very good. So I'm going back to the purple. And you won't see the design until the photograph when it's completely dry. So I'm just going to trim this out. And show you. You'll see it in the photograph. It wasn't a very good trim. Okay. Just like that. There you go. There's book page, wax paper, book page, <clears throat> wax paper, glassine type bags, wax paper little card, which I know that's never coming off. And there it is again with the backing. And that backing needs fixed. See all that bubbling on there? Okay, everyone. Got this done. That's another um, type of paper that you can use. Wax paper, laminate, napkins. I'm sure this same would probably apply with tissue paper. The glue stick might tear it, so apply your glue to the wax paper instead of the paper. And that would be my general tip for doing napkins. Unless you're going to use a brush and something soft, a soft brush with Mod Podge, then you could possibly get away with it. There's my first bag I made with my first wax paper napkin. Okay, thanks a lot everyone. I'll see you next time. Hopefully tomorrow I will be doing another magazine rubbing. Um, let me bring it out here. This one, in case you haven't seen it, combining techniques as we learn what we can do with this um, alcohol, water, 
magazine distress, book page distress, and this is with another type of paper, wrapping paper. Okay, thanks again. Bye.